So everybody right now, just notice, you know, look around the room you're in. Just look at the things. And you see all the things that are surrounding you, like in this, I've got pictures and books and windows and <clears throat> statues and paintings and all kinds of stuff in here. It's a very, very busy room. It would be maddeningly busy to, to some, but it's a very, very busy room. And then I close my eyes for just a minute and think on that. Reflect on that, not really think, but just kind of reflect on it. And then open my eyes again. So open your eyes again. Look around, and this time don't bother to look at all of the objects in the space. Look at the space itself, the space that is above, below, in front of, behind, and to the left and right of every object. And now what I want you to do is imagine that the space that you have seen, not the objects, but the space itself that you have seen, now turns into a giant pudding. A giant pudding. And then ask yourself, how many puddings are there? With Americans, I use Jello, but Jello is not used through much of the world. So, and I have one pudding. So from this, we can learn that the space that's surrounding all of these objects, we think of it, we were taught that the, that the space is what's in between everything and everything else. But it's not. It's that which joins everything to everything else. And that is oneness. So that there's really only one thing going on. 